turkey season here in Wisconsin and we're going to take you guys along on our journey for the first seasons. I'm going to take after mine with my Hoyt. Michelle is going to follow up chasing a long beard with her shotgun. Follow along. Enjoy. Well, it's day two of my turkey season. Yesterday didn't go as planned. We've been uh, seeing birds here for a couple weeks, right away in the morning. And yesterday they were here, but they were hand up. And uh, went to a different spot yesterday afternoon. That definitely didn't pan out. And uh, so we snuck back in here this morning. And birds aren't even close. They weren't roosted close. And uh, it sounded like two of the birds that we had roosted not far yesterday we roosted farther to our west this morning and we just heard one of the neighbors uh shoot over there so that bird um and then they quit gobbling so obviously he shot one of those birds so now i guess it's just a sit wait game and uh see if we can't get something fired up after that neighbor gets his bird and gets out of here and it's done celebrating and whatever he's doing or she and uh, I don't know see if we can get another bird fired up and uh, I'm just gonna have to wait and stick it out and see what happens I guess did that happen fast that was I thought that bird was gonna walk away he came in super quiet I got one goblin up here on the hill and I thought man we're trying to get this bird and all of a sudden it's been a couple of really early mornings and she was kind of taking a nap over here and I had to wake her up and so it took a minute to get everything organized and then I thought he was gonna go past us and all of a sudden out of nowhere this bird just started walking. I made a few soft calls and he turned around and 
he didn't even like the hen. He came in, beat her up, and then he uh, cranked on that Jake and 20 yards, man, that Spitfire, it put him down like right now. So we're, uh, we're gonna get out of here and uh, that's a pretty exciting quick morning. We're gonna get out of here and go check that bird out. Well, here he is. Beautiful, beautiful bird. Let me grab my arrow here. <laughs> That's uh, the old uh, Spitfire. Did the trick again. Put the uh, old, uh, new Hoyt to work this morning. Uh, patience paid off this morning. It was uh, a little different morning. These birds weren't roosted where I thought they were going to be, so we had to uh, sit back, relax, and um, hope for a little bit. Finally, these birds they lit up again, and uh, except for this one, he came in quiet. Kind of surprised us, but uh, you know we still had one goblin over there, and he came in and. Uh, he, uh, like I said, he came in silent and then all of a sudden he just turned and didn't like that decoy set up and uh, it was kind of a cool show there for a second and then put the shot on him and it was just, it was weird because he stood there for a second. I thought, wow, did I miss him or what I do? Because it sounded good, looked good, and then he just kind of folded up and nose planted. So um, just a beautiful bird. He's got an absolute gorgeous fan on him, uh, nice beard. Probably one inch spurs, so uh, beautiful eastern turkey here in Wisconsin. And so now we are going to get this boy tagged up. We're going to head into town, get a little bit of coffee, go home, clean this thing up, and then uh, maybe change a blind or two this afternoon for Michelle's season next week. So stay tuned for that hunt. couple things that uh, really put this hunt and made this thing together is one like I said patience is uh, having having some patience but our decoy sets this year were a little bit later in the season and so as our season started later one week later this year so we're kind of getting through that dominance just real close to that jealousy phase so what I did is instead of separating the Jake and the hen decoy is I took that Jake decoy and I put that just a little bit closer, almost like he's wanting to try to mount that hen. And then I put the feeder off to the side, you know, look for comfortability. And as you saw, as this bird, they're coming from that dominance jealousy factor, he came in, he didn't like that Jake sitting there. And so he came in, beat that up, and get that away from that Jake. He actually went by and hammered the hen first. I don't know if he was jealous of her, telling her to get away from him or what, but, uh, you know, so look at how you're setting up these decoys uh, throughout the seasons and, and how your weeks lay um, early in the year to middle of the year and then at the end of the year. And right now, because you're going from that first to second, get that Jake in there a little bit closer. And uh, using this tactic will hopefully help you own your season. Hey, if you like what you see, be sure to check us out on social media. Yeah, you know what like I'm doing right now, you know? Snapgram, Face Chat, Instabook, Twitter Box, you know, all those cool things on the interweb. Those aren't things. Go to Art Helen Outdoors and own the season and like, share, and follow us on all your favorite social media outlets for the latest content. So it's the first day of my season for turkey here in Wisconsin. At least it doesn't feel like winter anymore like spring so that's good and uh, we've been seeing some turkeys up here pretty consistently every day at our Moultrie Trail Grams. They're not real consistent on the time of day so it could be this morning it could be you know midday or this afternoon but pretty consistent on this field that's why we're set up here. It is still an early season so we've got a, a half strut Jake decoy with a hen so uh, we're gonna sit tight. Could happen this morning or it could be something later 
later today, but I got all day, so let's see what happens. bird you know that's one thing too there's there's jakes and there's toms and i don't uh you know we don't practice like quality turkey management or anything really you know there's multiple bearded birds and the other one might have had three beards but um a lot of things can happen and i just i like to shoot the first bird that gives me an opportunity they can get spooked you know you, you get coyotes that come in on you know on them um you know my mom learned the hard way too you know don't don't pass on the first day what you'd shoot on the last so uh, I'm thrilled with this bird, beautiful bird. And uh, I do think those are some better than average spurs on him. So I think it all worked out today. You know, we took a break, came back out, 
middle of the day. I think a lot of people uh, don't don't think of the middle of the day as being a good time for hunting, but it is for turkey as well as deer. So we came back out and got a bird after they were out, you know, looking for more hens. So thanks, Art, for my calling, and I think getting the decoys close and uh, using our cameras to help scout made the difference for us today. So try those tips and own your season. Own the Season TV is proudly brought to you by Arctic Shield, stay out longer. Cyclops Lights, get out of the dark. Eastern Archery, made in the USA. Hoyt, get serious, get Hoyt. Hunter Specialties, serious hunting tools. Moultrie Products, work hard, hunt smart. Muddy Outdoors, new archery products, Hunt with confidence. Realtree, family, friends, and the outdoors. Team Walkers, protect it or lose it. Vortex Optics, unlimited, unconditional, lifetime warranty. Own the Season TV is also brought to you by these fine partners.